Welcome back to Filmonomics with Slated. I'm Steph Paterno, and in this third segment, we're picking up again uh, with the director and producers of Days and Nights. Now, if you've seen the film, it may surprise you to hear this was actually very much a first-time effort. This was Christian Camargo's first feature film as a director, as well as Barbara Romer and Juliet Rylance as feature film producers. Now, it's partly their naivete that allowed them to aim extremely high and for their enthusiasm to be highly contagious with the incredible cast that they got on board. Now, we thought this would be interesting for you to hear about as there are many first-time filmmakers on Slated. So let's go hear what they had to say, juggling so many hats on one production. The thing when we were all first-timers, so if I was going to invest money, I would want to sit down with the director and the producers. I actually, I, I my own life choices, I go very much by my gut, but the reality is it's the continual hard daily, daily work that the producer are putting in that is making things a success, and that's it. And so if, if Juliet and I said, you know, this could have been online last year, and, you know, but now we're in the theaters, you know, it's, and, but it's because we have never given up and we keep going at it. And in this environment, in this industry, that's very tough. And so you need somebody who's going to fight because they believe in the project, but they're also, they're fighting for you. You know, and that's because I, I, there are friends who invested, also people I never knew who invested, and, and I would not be able to look at them at the opening, at the premiere, and not, you know, feel good about myself if I didn't know I'd given every single ounce of who I am to make this a success. But, you know, I mean, I remember the first day on set, I was like, oh, so what's a monitor, what are pants? I had no idea. And so that, the, the humility of working with a dedicated crew, and my thing, in, about producing, but also about life, I tend to be incredibly honest always. If somebody asks me, I will not pretend to give you an answer. I will be very honest and say, I don't know, but I will give everything and I will get you an answer in 24 hours or whatever the right time frame was. I remember first day on set, um, William Hurt, um, we're just introducing ourselves, we're chatting, and William said, like, so how many films have you done? And I just said, this would be my first. And I just said it because I said, but anything you need, I will get it done. It's a really weird thing to be doing both roles. Um, thank God for Barbara and Christian, is all I can say. Um, that you know, you're sitting behind the monitor, uh, you know, totally consumed with how long a shot's taking, worrying about whether you're going to make the day, uh, making sure that Christian has everything he needs, and then suddenly, you know, someone's tapping you on the shoulder saying, "It's time for you to go to hair and makeup, and you're going to be, you know, you've got sort of 30 minutes before you're in." Um, so I think the hair and makeup chair was actually really useful because I had a little cat, I had some cans in my ear so I could still hear all the producing stuff that was going on for half an hour but I had a kind of transition period where I could listen, realize everything was fine and then slowly just relax and, and, and play for a bit. So it was really, that was fantastic. And actually, sort of coming from a theater background, um, I'm feeling very much at ease in the theatre. Um, film has always been this sort of um, elusive um, medium to me. So it was, um, it was really amazing to be acting with such an incredible ensemble of actors. And I think because I was so consumed with the producing, I didn't have time to get too nervous or worried or concerned. It was just like, thank God I get to just play for a bit. It was a challenge. I mean, it's a challenge. It is a challenge to switch off, especially, you know, being a writer and an, and an actor in it, because you know, uh, that that as a first-time filmmaker, I would not suggest doing. <laughs> you know, just stick with one department. You know, as your first film, um, but but it's doable uh, if you have the right support. But we we did have to create um, a cave underneath the house, which had a chair and some juice and some other things and suckers and mints and gum and it was a no zone like I literally that was my zone I can go in there between takes um, and uh, and just take five minutes it was like an absolute necessity to have a moment where there's no one at you clearing your head you know and that sounds obvious but when you're on set it's just like go 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 and you just never have that and it took me about a couple weeks to go I actually really need this you know that needs to be my shut off moment you know, and, and uh, that came out of just desperation. I just needed to be, I needed some quiet, you know. And luckily I had producers who really understood that and, and really allowed me to sort of, that's the kind of producer I want to work with, you know, is a producer that uh, is taking the leap that, 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 that you need. Um, 
is not standing over you going, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do that. It's, it shuts down creativity. You won't, you won't have a great product at the end of it. Um, um, so that it was, you know, I need my cape. That's what saved me. Wow. Well, it, if this isn't uh, another reminder of how incredibly ingenious, perseverant, and resourceful a team has to be to pull off an independent film, then I don't know what is. Uh, and that is actually a great segue to next week's segment, which is from a recent Filmonomics Talks event we had where we brought together some very notable actors who are also doing their first or second directing or producing uh, endeavor. And it's always good to know uh, that it's just as challenging for anyone in the industry, no matter how well established you are. I look forward to seeing you next week's segment. Don't forget to click over here to subscribe. Talk to you soon. Thank you.